This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Wednesday, March the 19th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Barbados and its Caribbean neighbors declare victory as Britain announces plans to reform its controversial air passenger duty. The long-awaited news came today as British Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, outlined that the tax will be simplified into two-band system. Band A for short-haul flights, those less than 2,000 miles from London, and Band B, long-haul flights, those more than 2,000 miles from London. This translates into lower APD rates for tourists travelling from the UK to the Caribbean. Now, it's just the news that tourism stakeholders wanted to hear. In immediate reaction, Tourism Minister Richard Seeley welcomed Britain's decision to take the Caribbean's opposition to the APD on board. Seeley says now the distorting impact of the tax has been removed. He is confident Barbados will work with its loyal travel partners to welcome more British visitors back to the island. For her part, President of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Patricia Alfonso Das, says the region's hard work paid off and the reduction in APD rates could only mean good things. Well, I think that, you know, it's very related um, that, that that is the decision that has been made. It, it, um, you know, we've been hopeful for a long time and I think all agencies, whether that be the CTO, the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association or individual um, islands have been, have been lobbying hard for this. And so we're extremely grateful that it has been done. It certainly makes the banding more fair. Um, and it, it reduces, obviously, the cost um, to, to the Caribbean. British carrier Virgin Atlantic is also ecstatic. The airline's regional manager, Nick Parker, believes the move will see Caribbean destinations becoming more attractive. And former Prime Minister Owen Arthur says he's not against government privatizing state agencies, but he wants the Frontier Stewart administration to come clean with the public about any plans it has to do so. In his contribution to the estimates debate today, Arthur said it must not be done by stealth. If the government of Barbados, Mr. Speaker, has agreed to invest in the American Development Bank, that privatization must be part of the solution to stability. If it has already entered arrangements with people to discuss how it can sell assets to raise revenue to stop us from having to send home people, and if it believes that this is part of a viable and legitimate and lawful approach, that draws upon previous experiences of governments in this country, Mr. Speaker. Let us say so. In other news from the estimates, the Transport Board will be launching seven new cross-country services targeting Warrens, Austins and Whole Town. Transport and Works Minister Michael Lashley says the routes will originate in densely populated rural districts such as Six Rose and Bathsheba. He says the Transport Board is expecting to earn more than half a million dollars in the first year of operating those new routes. Read more from the estimates in this evening's e-paper. The Barbados Water Authority is turning to members of the public to help clamp down on illegal water connections. Hydrologist Jamie Paul says water theft is a big problem for the BWA and one of the main solutions is to get people to report the culprits. We'd like the public to be more vigilant of situations where there are persons who are actually illegally using water. There are people who have these um, connections that they don't have a meter and they wouldn't be paying a water bill. So if you know that your next door neighbor has this illegal connection and they're not paying any bill, you are actually paying for them. You are paying your bill every month, making sure that you're paying on time and they're not paying anything and you are being really penalized for them. So we would like the public to look out for these things and come in and say something about it because it's everybody's responsibility to protect the water resource. Paul was speaking to Barbados Today during the BWA's annual World Water Day showcase in Independence Square this morning.
In sports, no truth to reports that no hotel reservations were made for the Trinidad and Tobago cricket team here for their four-day regional match against Barbados. The Barbados Cricket Association, which was responsible for making the arrangements, says the team simply got to the Barbados Beach Resort earlier than check-in time and had to wait for rooms to be made available to them. Rollins uh, Howard sought to make uh, that clear in an interview with Barbados Today after reports were circulating that the cricketers were forced to sleep in the hotel lobby because no reservations were made for them when they arrived yesterday. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, it's on power. In regional news, a high court in Dominica has awarded a woman more than 17,000 US dollars in damages four years after she fell into an open grave at the Rosa Roman Catholic Cemetery. Saifa Schillingford was participating in the Roman Catholic lighting of the graves on November the 1st, 2008, when she fell into the grave, which was more than six feet deep. She says she continues to suffer pain, injury, loss and damage as a result of the fall. Internationally now, the FBI is aiding the Malaysian government's search for a Malaysian Airlines jet missing for more than a week. The U.S. investigators are believed to be helping the Malaysians examine a home flight simulator belonging to one of the pilots of the flight MH370 for clues. The pilot is said to have deleted some of the files from the computer simulator. Teams from 26 countries are trying to find flight MH370, which went missing on March 8th with 239 people on board. The flight was headed from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. That's been the 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, it's on power.